Okay, hey, hey. Can I be heard? Let's tune down this a bit and. There we go again. So. Uh, first off, I must excuse if the microphone is picking up some background noise. Neighbor stock doesn't seem to take the heat as I do. But nonetheless, we shall delve into another Scrooge comic. Uh, let's tune this on. Yeah, right there. Okay, then, what do we have here? We're making uh, an episode, uh, about three comics I have ready for today. Um, theming, uh, if you followed the life story of 12 chapters of Scrooge McDuck, we are now getting to stories that kind of flashback uh, to his life story also by Don Rosa and the first one is or could be considered to be a chapter zero of the life story and is part of the DD yeah um, it's a different uh, interpretation of the first chapter with uh, another point of view on it so let's uh, delve right into that. Uncle Scrooge of Ducks, Dimes and Destinies. Chapter Zero of Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck. Ah, that was delicious. I don't know when I've eaten a bigger dinner. The other four evenings you've been eating here this week are definite possibilities. That's true. Well, tomorrow night you are all invited to dinner at my place. How nice. Two dollars a piece as usual? Hmm, I guess, but only if you also wash the dishes. And you never noticed that I don't charge you to eat with us. That's because I regal you with tales of my exploits. What's this? Not tea? My favorite. You must want a special story tonight. You bet, Uncle Scrooge. You never told us. Where did you get your number one dime? Where did I get this symbol of my entire fortune? I earned it, of course. Sorry to disappoint you boys, but that's a pretty star story. It all started at on the day of my 10th birthday, back in home in Glasgow. My father gave me a shoeshine kit that he made himself. Papa worked hard all his life, but we were poor as uh, church mice. I wanted to help him support my and my two little sisters. I remember that day like yesterday. My first shoeshine customer was a ditch digger. It took me half an hour to chip the dried mud off its butt. When I finished, I collapsed with exhaustion. But it was worth it to earn my first pay from my own labor. But this is an American dime, and you lived in Scotland. Yes, I'll never understand that myself. But the fact that it was an American coin was part of the lesson. How so, Uncle Scrooge? Tell us more. Yes, Uncle Scrooge, tell them more. I, on the other hand, could tell them what would make the dime really special, if it belonged to Magicka the spell. Only I know how to melt the coin into the sulfurous fires of my Vesuvius and form it into a magic amulet. The amulet would grant me the power of the Midas touch, but only if it contained the first coin owned by the world's richest man. I've tried for years to steal that dime, but Scrooge is too old and crafty. I 
If I only could challenge him before he got so sly. Wait, that's it? A ten-year-old Scrooge would be a pushover. I could grab the dime and he would never know what hit him. Time travel is a tough spell, but I bought something at a necromancer's rummage sale that will do the job. Here it is, a time candle. The bankrupt warlock who sold it to me said it has the power to send me to any time in the past for one hour. I will never come up with a better use for it. All I need are some items to tell the candle where, who and when I wish to visit. For the hour that this candle burns, I'll be living in Scrooge McDuck's 10th birthday. Ooh, that stench and my sorcery shop is spinning and the walls are getting blurry. If I only could have afforded the time light bulb that Warlock was selling. But it worked. I am no longer on Mount Vesuvius. I am in Scotland. The sh Scotland of MacDuck's childhood. Hmm, I'm attracting attention. I'd better disguise myself. Voila. Now I can pass as a native until my mission of Lawrence is completed. This watch will tell me when my hour runs out. Now all I have to worry about is finding young Scrooge in time. The time candle would have placed me near him, but I need to find transportation to expedite my search. Taxi! This car is already engaged, ma'am. That's okay, Chubby. I'll share my ride. I got no wills in particular to go and plenty of money to give there. Thank you, I'm in a hurry. Um, would you and me, my little lady? Uh, what I mean, my little lady, is that I'm one of the rich Americans you heard so much about. Do tell. Yes, I am. I made put near a million bucks in the California gold rush back in 49. You boastful Nick. I know a certain duck who made you look like a bum. Or he will one day, anyhow. You cut me too quick, ma'am. Guess I, I shouldn't be too cocky. I was a bum before I struck the bridge. Slow down, there are some children over there. Is young Scrooge in the pack of urchins? Yes, I grew up as poor as them, young young star. And I shouldn't forget that. Where's my coin purse? I reckon I'll toss some lads some that's some pocket change. Young Scrooge, American coin plus coins plus is equals number one dime. Here you go, kiddies. <laughs> <laughs> Better change my technique for the Scottish girls. It seemed to have gotten that one of uh, my trial. <laughs> one of these count coins is bound to be the number one dime. No, that's a quarter, that's a dollar, a nickel, a cable, a car token, a spat button. That's a dime. Let me see that, your neck bad brat. I've had this coin in my hands enough times to recognize that mint mic. That date, that nick. This is Scrooge McDuck who number one dime. Excuse me lady, that's our coin. Wait little girl, I buy that coin. Here Papa, we found some money. The lane for you. Ooh. Thank you Madilda. What you got there? An American two cent piece, eh? Scrooge, how did you get back here? Never mind. I'll fight you through the ages. I'll... Calm yourself, madam. My name's Fergus McDuck. The only Scrooge I know is my son. But the wee lads is only ten years old this very day. Oh. Boiling Batwings. Scrooge's father. Sounds like Scrooge has been up to mischief again, Papa. No doubt.
I need to redirect his energies, and this coin has given me a notion how. An American coin like this, it might be just the inspiration Scrooge needs to make something of himself. Ah, just the thing. Now look, I will give you five pounds for that coin, ten pounds. Sorry madam, this is a good price, but my lad's future is more important. Wait, I have something else here that I that was sure will interest you. Well, I don't know. Phew. <laughs> it will interest him how to know that I've made a career out of foof bombs. Is this we let this on a regular basis? <laughs> Papa, she pinched your coin. Hot man that she did. I may be poor, but I got me pride. Nobody steals from a MacDuck. Besides, I have sold her that bleeding coin when she was sure she reached her top price. That Scrooge father is all right. Guess I have been disappointed if he would given up the coin too easily. How did toots? I'm one of them rich Americans you heard so much about. How about we? Ah. That's le that lassie should have known better than to fool with a member of the clan MacDuck. Especially when it's a matter of money. Here comes Father Scrooge. I mean, uh, here comes Scrooge. I mean, his father. This is all like the times in the past that Scrooge himself chased me in the future. I mean, uh, what I'm talking about? Is that woman again? She's too much. The girl back, girls back home could rustle steers to the ground, but they were demure about it. <laughs> Eight foof bomb, MacDuck. Ma'am, you can let me go anything along here, and I'll... Woof. Woof. Ooh. One, two, America, please. Back off, buster. You wouldn't dare to lay your hands on the lady. Oh, wouldn't I? Of course, I could be wrong. Flaming fungus. It's only ten lousy cents. What's the big deal? Madam, pence make shillings, and shillings make pounds. You obviously don't know any MacDucks, or I wouldn't ask that. Good day. I see what you mean. Pardon the question. Come along, Matilda. Hortensie? That was grand, Papa. Do it again. No. We must get someone to pay this coin to Scrooge for cleaning his boots. There must be a powerful dirty boots, too, so the lad will really earn his pay. Ah, I'll have it. Me old power bird, the Dutch dig ditch digger. Hey, bird. This is scary. Here I have the chance to get that dime even before Scrooge, but I can't seem to change history. I can only help it happen. Well, if I can't change history, maybe I can twist it a bit. The MacDucks are leaving, so now's my chance. Hey, you there. Hi, ma'am. Mr. MacDuck told me of his idea to inspire young Scrooge, and I think you're so kind to help him. That is why I wish to reward you and Scroogey. Reward, reward me, ma'am? Ha. Huh. Yes, see here, a shilling is worth more than a dime, and I will trade you two shillings for that coin. One for Scrooge and one for you. Blame it, that's a fine idea, ma'am. Especially the part where I keep the shilling. Yes, they call me the soul of generosity. Yeah, I'll be here, ma'am. I'll be off to find Scrooge, and now the dime is yours. <laughs> the dime? Is mine? I heard him say those words. This were his words. The dime is yours. He said that to me. <gasps> Scrooge MacDuck's legendary number one dime is mine. Leisurely. <laughs> Nobody can take it away. It's mine. 
and when the time candle burns out, I'm whisked back home, I'll finally be able to demand the magic, to make the magic amulet. I've dreamed of so many... Yup. No, 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 man, my dad, I'm not the great. That can't be happening. Mm. That was close, ma'am, but... There is your coin. You should be more careful with your money. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Even one coin is more valuable is a valuable thing in this life. I hope you start earning a few myself with my shoe shine kid. Well isn't that sweet, yeah? Go away. Little boy, your name isn't by any chance. You're not possibly Scrooge McDuck. Why yes ma'am, do I know you? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> you just returned his dime to me. Scrooge McDuck gave me his number one dime himself to me. <laughs> Must be American. I'll shine your shoes for that coin before you go home to Bedlam. Sure, why not? I'll wait, but no, keep it the coin. I'll keep this coin, thanks. This is priceless. Nothing can go wrong for me now. In just a f half an hour, I'll be whisked away in the future, dime and all. Shoe shines, five pans. What better way to spend time than to sit here and watch Scroogey work his tail feathers off? Shine. Good, here comes that half with ditch digger right on schedule. Shine, mister. Why? One half hour of exhausting back backbreaking labor later. Yeah, yes, I'm finished. Five pence, please. My time is almost up. I'll just be able to see the ditch digger pay Scoochy, and then I'll be gone. Wonder what this dope is waiting for. Say, look at that. Peachy is having a sale. And with exactly two, and me with exactly two shillings to my name? Luck. One keg of ginger pile for two shillings? I'll pay Scrooge later. Good thing I traded off that American coin. Peachy wouldn't make that. Wouldn't take that. Ha! <laughs> the ditch digger stiffed Scrooge. I guess that means the little jerk will have to wait until later to earn his first coin. What have I done? I intercepted Scrooge first time before he owned it. But it, on, it can only power my magic amulet if it is the first coin he ever owned. Which means that if it this time will never be any use to me, I'll have to be the one who gives it to Scrooge. Oh, the shame of it all, to think that I'm helping MacDuck. Eh, my hours up. I could just cry. Hmm? Phew, I must have passed, eh? My pay, my first con I ever earned from my own labor. Wait, this is an American coin, a dime. That Sharpie tricked me, and after all, that tough job too. This should be a lesson. Life is filled with tough jobs, and there will always be sharpies to cheat me. Well, I'll be tougher than the toughs, and sharper than the sharpies, and I'll make my money square. If I have a feeling this is the start of something big. Shine, mister. And that time was the start of something big. Three cubic acres of money worth, five multi Pugillion, nine impossibilion, seven fantastic trillion dollars and sixteen cents. Josh, from a shoeshine boy to the world's richest stack, there's more. That American coy also inspired me to seek my fortune in America, and here I am today. I just wish I could thank the person who was responsible for getting me that one particular coin. Curse you. You're welcome. <laughs> and that's uh, for that part. 
I'll be making a short break to switch to the next comic and I see you then. <laughs>